In April of 1944, Woody Guthrie walked into a small New York recording studio and introduced himself to Mo Ash, the man who ran the company. Mo Ash was a seminal figure in the folk music revival. He was essentially a sound engineer who became interested in unusual music, including jazz. He paid his artists when they badgered him. They usually didn't badger him because in many cases they didn't know they had been recorded. <laughs> a few days later, Guthrie returned with his friend Cisco Houston, an actor and singer he'd met in California. Cisco was by far Woody's best partner vocally and probably instrumentally. And they'd go on, turn on the mics, one mic, one take, and Woody would turn the pages. You could almost hear the, tur the pages turning. <laughs> it was sad when that great ship went down. Sad when that great ship went down. They recorded mountain tunes, they recorded uh, fiddle tunes, lots of fiddle tunes with Woody playing mandolin and fiddle. That was about the biggest thing that man had ever done. I was straw boss on the pyramids in the Tower of Babel, too. Opened up the old piece of land that I stand on is my battlefield and home. My plow and my hoe is my gun. Clothes don't make no difference at all. We are workers and fighters all. My uniform's my dirty overhaul. Sessions were enlivened by frequent nips at the bottle. As the sessions got on, the takes got sloppier and sloppier. You will do this, mother, won't you? Put my little shoes away. There's an element of desperateness in a lot of this. Sometimes I think he played the songs a little too fast. Sometimes when I listen to them, I I gotta get through these. I gotta sing 50 songs. I'm just gonna go through them as fast as I can.